This one ad generated $50,000 in revenue for my clients. And you're probably wondering, okay, so what? You know, it's just an ad. People are claiming that their ads are making this much or this one post is generating this much. But this one ad, I'm not talking about one ad set. I'm not talking about one campaign. I'm not talking about one thing. It's one singular ad. So in this video, I'm going to be dissecting basically everything that made this singular ad successful, why this was so successful, the things I did to make it so successful, and how you can basically copy everything that I've done in this video. You can copy literally word for word if you want. Steal this, apply this to your own business, and you could probably get the same results because all advertising is, is trial and error. And I've already tried it and failed with other ads. So you can try with the winning ads. So let's kind of jump into it. So number one point that I just wanted to talk about is headlining. So I put together three points that I want to talk about in this video, headlining, hiding amongst the trees and fractal Facebook evolution. Basically what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be dissecting the ad, but also relating it to several different copywriting examples, several different marketing examples, and basically telling you exactly why this was successful. So let me show you the actual ad. So my client, so as you can see here, this one ad generated 45 leads uh, in about 30 days. So as you can see up here, August 1st to August 31st, 45 leads from this one single ad. So let's take a look at the ad. Let's take a look at the ad. So Paul Anthony shares a simple process for losing over 40 pounds while you sleep. Hey, it's Paul Anthony here. I just spent the last week putting together a free training video on how to lose weight easily. In this free training, I pull back the curtain and show you exactly how I've transformed exact number over the past 20 years with very little complexity. Now, don't be shocked when you find out because it's quite simple. Here's where you'll discover my proven fat loss methods, gaining muscle, increasing energy levels, and conquering life. Since 2002, I've been sharing one of the best, if not the best, client success track records in the entire industry. I've created 151 pro cards and 1,000 weight loss success stories. If you're interested in starting your journey to weight loss and gaining muscle, this is for you. Click the button below before it's taken down. So this one ad generated 50 grand in revenue. 50 freaking grand. Crazy. So, and I'm basically, I, I can't even say that as, as for like for certain because it's a recurring basis. So the lifetime value of an average personal training client for, for uh, this client is about maybe anywhere from, I want to say uh, eight to 12 grand. So that was just the first. So this could generate anywhere from 50 to 150 grand in lifetime revenue. So what made this ad so successful? So number one is headlining. So David Ogilvy has this quote and basically how the quote goes is your headline is 80 cents of your marketing dollar. So you should be spending 80% of your time focusing on your headline because your initial conditions set everything for your ads. So when you're actually making this ad or ads in, in the future, you have to be thinking about what is the most attractive headline. So now you may ask, okay, how do I know that this headline's good and this headline's bad? What do I do? How do I know? What are certain things that, you know, how do, how, how do I know? Well, it's quite simple. Use what already works. There's thousands of headlines that are constantly being published all the time between blogs, YouTube videos, um, Snapchat, Instagram. There's headlines everywhere, right? Have you ever been on like a Yahoo website? Have you ever been on like a Yahoo website like this? Like this. These, look at these, look at these headlines. Teacher, like these, even news. It's all advertising. It's all freaking headlines, right? If you look here, you can probably find something that's quite interesting. So what I did basically is I put together a thousand of the best headlines that have literally done the best throughout history. I did this a while ago. Um, but if you look here, a lot of these have come from the sex industry. So if you scroll down a bit, um, if you come down, some of these I've collected these kind of over the years. So here you go. 
a lot of these come from the sexual industry. Why? Because they've done so successful and because they are so enthralling sexually. So I took all these headlines and I said, okay, how can I apply these to the person I'm working with? How can I apply these to my client? So what I basically did is I basically came here and I looked at all these and I said, hmm, while you sleep, that looks interesting. You know, losing fat is a pain or is something that people want to do. People want to get pleasure out of that. People want to lose fat. That's a, that's a desire. So how about losing fat while you sleep? And then best of all, there's this Claude Hopkins quote. It's not really a quote, but it's a, um, it's a tactic that he proposes to always use in your campaigns. And that's basically about being extremely specific. So let's get very specific with it. So losing fat, a certain amount of fat while you sleep, lose 40 pounds while you sleep. And then let's get even more specific. Let's say, who's this coming from? Paul Anthony. Paul Anthony shares his secrets, his simple secrets to losing 40 pounds while you sleep. And what would even be better than that would be like 41 pounds. Be a little bit odd with it so people are curious to why it's an odd number, right? This is a psychology hack. When you tell someone, hey, the price is $200, they don't believe you. $200, what? If you say, yeah, the price is 274, that looks like it's calculated. That looks like it's something that you really worked out. And that's the number that came up on your calculator when you worked out the price. So headlining is the 80 cents of your marketing dollar. You should be spending most of your time on headlining. If you want this, I'm going to put this in the um, description of the YouTube video. Go down there. I'm going to make a copy. I'm going to make a copy of this basically so that you guys can have. Go down. This is a very important tool. You need to base your entire angle off of this. So when you think about it, when I took the angle of lose 40 pounds while you sleep as my, as my headline, then basically everything I'm writing from that point on is based off of that, right? So the amazing weight loss secret of the, it's another one that I could use, right? So it all starts headline and then moves down from headline. You're always starting with the topic, where you're pointing to, and then you're driving in that direction. Makes sense? Easy. So number two is hiding amidst the trees. So this kind of sounds a little bit weird. It kind of sounds a little suspicious. Hiding amidst the trees, what does that mean? So there's this copywriting tactic that I barely see anyone use nowadays, but this is a very old tactic. It's from the 30s. And it's from the ages of David Ogilvy, Cloud Hopkins, these like direct-to-consumer male advertisers. And basically what these guys preached is you have to make your ads blend in, not stand out. So what does this mean? A lot of people, they try to make their ads big, bright, bold. Hey, buy our product, buy our product. It looks desperate. It's like going up to a girl and begging her to be your girlfriend, getting on your knees and pleading, right? When you are making an ad, you have to blend in. You cannot look like an ad. So if we dissect this ad, this doesn't look like an ad. Paul Anthony shares a simple process for losing over 40 pounds while you sleep. It just looks good. It just, it doesn't look like an ad. It just looks like something that I would read if I wanted to lose weight. Would I read this if I wanted to lose weight? If I wanted to lose 40 pounds while sleeping, that's a no brainer. Yeah, sure. I'll read this. If it said, Hey, buy my whatever product now, I'd be like, what the hell? That's a little much, right? So you have to be thinking of how you can blend in and not stand out. The more you stand out, the more dependent you are on your offer. And that's not something that is the best to be dependent on, right? Especially if you're in somewhat of a saturated market, which I am in, which is fitness. It's a little bit difficult to stand out when everyone has amazing physiques, everyone's doing X, everyone's doing Y. It's difficult. So you have to blend in and you have to look like you're there simply to educate them. Get that headline up that's educational, that blends in and is not super standoutish and says, hey, buy my product, buy my product, buy my product. I've seen too many people do the same fucking post of literally, it's the same, it's the same thing every time. I'm looking for five people who want to transform in 20 days 
DM me, hey, and I will whatever. Looking for five guys who want to lose 20 pounds. Like that shit pisses me off. It's so in your face. It's like, leave me alone. Don't like it. Point number three, fractal Facebook evolution. This is a big point, And this is probably one of the most important points other than headlining. Number three, this happens all the time. When you're launching an ad, when you're launching anything in terms of marketing, you have to give variation. So what do I mean by this? If you look at a species evolving in nature, if you look at homo sapiens and how we've gone to this point, there was a variation of people, right? And then there was a trait that did better than another trait. And then that trait reproduced more. So then that trait evolved to the point we are now. So it's all survival. And basically the entire thesis behind evolution biologically is variation. And if you don't give your Facebook ads or your marketing, just in general, enough variation, you will kill the evolution of it. So what I mean by this is people will literally launch one ad with one angle, with one ad set, with one campaign, put it out there and expect for it to do amazing. It doesn't work like that. Marketing, even though it's thought of as a very language based subject, it is extremely mathematical. And it is extremely precise. You have got to be mathematical and you have to be calculated with your efforts, right? There is no time to be thinking about language skills and all this. It's very scientific, very scientific. So you have to give the algorithm enough variation, enough volume so that it has enough to work with. It's constantly going through several different angles and seeing which one works here, seeing which one works with this audience, this audience, this audience, but you have to give it enough leeway so that it can actually do that instead of just one ad with one angle with one audience. It just sucks. So what I did with this is as you can see, we tested one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 ads right? 12 ads. But we were also testing about five, five or six audiences. So take 12 and times it by six, right? You're looking at a decent amount of ads that were there. So the algorithm had a lot to work with. The algorithm had a ton to test. So surely one of those, how, what, what six times 12, one of those would hit. 72, one of those would hit. One of the 72 would hit, surely, instead of one of one. My odds are better with 72 instead of one. You see, what I, you see where I'm going here? So we gave, the vari we gave the variation, we gave enough leeway for the algorithm to test, run, et cetera. And then basically we got the winner. Now, final point, once you get the winner, now what do you do? You allocate more spend towards the winner. You cancel out the ones that don't work and you run the one that's working and feed it more, feed it more money, allow more impressions to be done and it will perform. So there you go. You're killing off shit that doesn't work, AKA biologically, the traits that are not selected for, and you're selecting for the traits that work and you're feeding more towards that, more resources, more of your ad spend so that that one ad grows. But you have to do the initial testing, okay? So let's go through this one more time, little recap just before I finish the video. Why was this ad so successful? Number one, headlining. Headlining is 80% of your marketing budget. It is the 80 cents of your marketing dollar. You have to make sure your headlining is spot on. You build the rest of your angle off of your headline. Number two, hiding amidst the trees. You have to blend in. Don't be that guy with that spammy ass looking ad with those neon bubble Canva letters that just suck. No one wants that. It just screams desperation and it just, I, I don't like you, okay? Number three, fractal Facebook evolution. Make sure, you have to make sure that you're giving the variation to the Facebook algorithm. Facebook algorithm is way smarter than you will ever be. I just, I hope you know that. It's way smarter than you'll ever be. So you have to let it work and trust that it will work. So feed it variation, let it do its thing and it will work out. If you found value in this video, 
please leave a thumbs up. I'm going to share with you that thousand winning headlines that I've been copying for the past quite like that I've been scraping kind of from all over the web that I've seen, whatever. I'll give it to you for free. No worries. Click the link in the description. You'll get it for free. And one thing I ask of you, if you enjoyed this video, go down, subscribe to me. I'm making videos almost every day about marketing, sales, anything, any kind of relation to this. I do have a company. I do work for personal trainers. I do work for gyms. I do work for health studios. If this is something where you're like, hey, I want 50 grand within 30 days revenue for my business. Maybe I can help you. Maybe I can. I don't know. Um, leave a comment, leave a like, reach out to me. You'll find me somewhere. Uh, I'm going to leave that up to you. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, leave a thumbs up. I look forward to chatting with you.